What's going on everybody? Welcome back to T3G and today we're doing not a vlog, we are doing a room update. I recently did a room tour, it's a temporary room, um, but I did I was using a table that necessarily I wasn't a fan of, so I did pick up a new table. It's a little longer than the one that's behind me. Um, that doesn't mean I have to undo all my cable management get my computer off and then reset everything up but I'm okay with it because this table is a lot nicer it has better cable management already up with the table it's actually with the stand of the table and so I'm gonna take you through on uh, some of the process of what I do to cable manage setting up the table and uh, hopefully get a nice result afterwards but first I would like to show you something that I know a lot of people worry about when it comes down to cable management so let's get to that so we're under the table that I currently have set up but that I'm removing and one of the things that people always worry about is how to put a power supply underneath your table. If you talk to a lot of people that cable manage they say use double sided sticky tape. Some people are worried that that's not enough. Well I do want to mention I've already made this is already loose on this end okay but here I'm actually literally lifting myself and it's not <laughs> budging at all. I mean, and I've already loosened this side. So if you have any worries that the double-sided sticky tape does not, is not going to hold that up, you have nothing to worry about. Although I do want to point out one more thing besides that. Another thing that you can do on the cheap is put in... If you don't care for the underside of your um, table, which I don't know why you should, it's the underside, nobody's going to see it. And as long as it's it's hard underneath here, some tabletops have a very soft bottom and this won't work. But as long as it's like real wood or plywood that has a tough underneath, what you can do is you can use staples to make these like hooks and then use a zip tie and then you can attach the cable to that and so it'll be flush against the table and as you can see I used quite a bit of them here on this table to uh, to do that previously so once again if you have any problems or any doubt in your mind the double-sided sticky tape will not work or won't hold it up I was literally pulling myself up with one hand and that wasn't letting go I do have to pry it off which I'm gonna do right now. Sorry if the audio is not good in some of these shots. Uh, I am using my GoPro. Uh, the DSLR is actually with Dalvor. He's doing videos at his house. So I'm using my GoPro for this. This is a little bit of an overkill. I mean, I know that's on there pretty good, but I am gonna use a pry bar. Um, it is a little bit of an overkill. I was actually trying to find my scissors, but I couldn't find them. So I'm gonna use this. I already did some of the work for uh, this part. I actually moved these shelves over. Uh, this one was actually there. This one was over more where that gap is. Um, all that stuff, all this stuff was actually over there. This couch right here was actually alongside the wall there. Yeah, that's about it. So I removed that. So that's not going to be in the video, but found them. Um, let's not talk about how oh, they were right in front of my eyes. According to the instructions, this, which is plastic, and this, which goes in here, which is also plastic, apparently is going to hold that frame to that table, top, table top. We'll see about that. Huh. Or, I 
Jason. <laughs>
the surge protectors clean so that way the stickiness of the double sided sticky squares doesn't go away easily. All right, for this part, do not take these off yet. First, test out where you want the power supply. Once you've figured it out, then you're gonna take these off and hold it up against there. And it does say here to hold it firmly for about 30 seconds. So when you attach it, make sure you hold, hold it up there with some pressure for 30 seconds. It's gonna get a little tiring on your arms, but make sure to do that to get the best connection and best stickiness so that way this does not come off and other and then you'll be golden like in the beginning of this video and then you'll be able to hang on it and it won't come off do want to mention and I know awkward position this mesh is overall amazing um, it looks like it's gonna hold pretty darn well I literally had to use one nail to hold up one piece of wiring up but otherwise I am extremely excited right now and I'll show you guys real quick to the best of my capabilities right now so that is literally the only there's a nail right there that's literally the only one i just had to hold a few wires up here so they're not hanging down otherwise everything else is in here and it's holding it pretty pretty good i'm extremely happy with this um i can't express how happy i am with this it's unfortunate this isn't a, sold separately uh, this does specifically come with this frame which is part of the begant system i will put it in the description this is awesome. All right, guys, just got done organizing everything. I'm super excited. Here it is. guys that's that's it that's the that's the desk setup I'm super excited it matches very well with the u-line setup I'm super excited I can't explain it I hope you guys enjoy this video because that was a lot of work but at the same time it was still fun it was great to be able to finally set it up how I wanted it so it's good to go hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys maybe got something out of this maybe you saw the wiring and stuff like that uh, there are still a few wires here and there that you can see uh, I'm not gonna go wireless keyboard uh, I'm not gonna drill a hole through the my mouse pad or through the table to uh, to hide the wires I just don't want to do it I don't care that much I like cable management but not to that extent and then there's like the mic and the headphone and the USB hub that I can't really hide because those are more in the front cabling I didn't put them in the back so in that sense there's still some minor imperfections but I'm okay with those minor imperfections uh, overall super excited the desk is awesome very sturdy I would definitely recommend this desk if you're looking to just do a setup and you don't want to mess with making custom desks or anything like that get the Begant setup from uh, IKEA I'm surprised how sturdy it is that frame makes it really really sturdy the board itself on its own is not sturdy but once you put it on the frame that frame makes everything so much better super excited 
gonna go start using that setup so I can start editing these videos. I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys enjoyed it, please do hit the subscribe button and make sure you like the video if you did like it and we'll see you guys in the next one.